Hello, I'm David. I'm over 70 and I live in Bosnia and Herzegovina. In this short video, I'd like to talk about something that I encounter not so much in the summer, but definitely in the autumn and the winter and the early spring. So this is a bit of a cultural thing, right? That I'm sort of like getting used to, but even today, it confuses the heck out of me. And that is, or that, yeah, it is two things, right? Now, in the local language here, there is a word called zrak, right? And I checked out on the internet what zrak really means, because I thought, what? And it's a beam of light. Or when you talk about air, it's about airstream, I think. So in the mornings when we wake up, and full disclosure, and you must probably know this anyway, uh, if you've got pets, you need to air the house in the morning. Um, Tamara doesn't like sleeping with the window open. <clears throat> I do, but it is what it is, right? So in the morning, she says, Zrak! and we open all the windows in the house, and it gets a flow of air, and things get back to normal. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. So there's air moving through the house. Um, and then in the winter or in cold days, we'll either put the windows on kip or close the windows and put the heating on, whatever. So in the morning, she always says, zrak, right? And we do that. Now, other times, and particularly, um, as I said, in late autumn, winter, and early spring, um, I like to have the windows open. I love fresh air. And when we drive in cars, not necessarily in the cold days, but maybe in the more warmer days, I like to have the windows down. And then they go, oh, Prohmeyer. Prohmeyer is draft. And I've always been confused. What? They said, you'll get sick from what? The draft of the car? The draft of the windows coming in? Yeah. Close the windows. Um, sometimes when you have the windows open, and it, even though they say Promire. Now, apparently, back in the day, um, in the Balkans, before modern medicine, uh, a lot of things were attributed to Promire. <clears throat> Normally they say you'll get a stiff neck, right? And I remember in England, to be totally honest, my grandmother said, be careful or, or your face will seize up or whatever. So maybe there is an analogy to that. But back in the day, it was one of those things. If, if you were caught in a draft, it made you ill. Uh, and the draft was to blame. Now, over time, those folk tales and legends have found their way in, in into the culture, into everyday life. I can't really think of anything in Britain off the top of my head, but I'm sure there is, because there's not much differentiating, differentiating uh, me as a Brit and my new culture of being in the Western Balkans. There must be a similarity. Maybe one day I'll, and I'm bored, I'll search the web and find something. But Promire has always um, got to me. And it seems from my 20 odd years here that Promire is still used a lot, or they say Promire, close the windows, by older people. Right now, I'm an older guy. I'm over 70 now, just. So my generation and the ones before normally talk about that or go on about that or nag you for, you know, to close the windows, maybe down to about 50. But definitely the younger people here think it's a joke. It's a joke. And I just wanted to, to talk about this because... Yeah, it is something that when you come to the country or go to somewhere else, when you're out of your comfort zone, when you're out of your culture, your home culture, these things really hit you. And it was again this morning before I recorded this, 
we woke up and Tamara said, Zrak! And I just was opening the windows laughing. I said, what the heck? It's not killing you. I know I said this. I said, it's not killing you. It's not hurting anybody. But when we get in the car... And it is a bit cold outside and I drop the window, she'll say, put it up, Plomeyer. So I don't really understand it, but it is what it is. Steyer Tuya, as they say here. It is what it is. If you're watching this from any of the Western Balkan countries or you're from any of the Western Balkan countries and now you, you're living outside, like in the diaspora, um, have you got any stories about, or funny stories, I don't want nasty ones or awful ones. Um, but have you got any cool stories about Promire in your life? It would be uh, nice to hear and I'll give you a check in the description or the show notes wherever you see that. See this. So that's it. It's a lovely sunny Sunday as I record this. And uh, wherever you are, do stay safe. Sretno. And uh, Vidi Musa Opet, which means I'll see you again.